Okay, so we got an update here on the aquarium. Um, it appears I have a male and female Nicaraguan cichlid. Hopefully they produce some young for me. There's the male. He's got the nocule hump. His name is Orange Cream, just because of his colors. He's beautiful, and there's Rose. They might produce young for me, I don't know. But uh, there's the two Nicaraguans. She's smaller, doesn't have a nocule hump, so she must be a female. He must be a male. Hopefully they produce for me. There's Bumblebee Bruce. He's a Bumblebee Cichlid. His color is really starting to come through. He looks really sharp. There's uh, Spunky. He's, he's not growing much yet. Hopefully he gets bigger. There's Lady. The Jewel Cichlid. Got some pretty colors on her. Sometimes they look real, they have a lot of color to them. And then the male's inside there, he's in the rock. Um, that's the only update on this aquarium. On this aquarium, I added up another power head. So there's two power heads on this one too. I just like the bubbles and it, it helps me not do as many water changes because when you have constant water movement, it's harder for the water to evaporate. So that's part of the reason why I keep my power heads running and I like the bubbles. Um, I want to get bubbler stones for both tanks, but that's more electricity and I'm not looking to spend more on just for looks, but I might, I might, I might get bubblers, you know, I'm a sucker like that for bubbles. Um, but uh, as you can see, I put the blue background on there and uh, his, his temperature is reading right there at 82, which is where I want it. And there's, and this reading reads 82 as well. They're both set at 82 degrees. Um, and I simply do that because uh, they're South Americans and, and they require warm temperatures because of the Amazonian. I want it to be the seasonal the seasonal for the South Americans. The only two Africans I have is the bumble, bumblebee and the African OB, peacock. Those are the only two Africans I have and they're well behaved. You know, if they were, most Africans like to nip up these, these South Americans pretty good because they don't got the same kind of defense as far as speed goes. South Americans move much more slower than your, um, your Africans do. Except for this guy right here. He could kill about just about any African you put around him. Vanilla. Vanilla Manila. And see, he, you could tell he's built up, he's fortified his, the way he wants his aquarium. There's nothing I can do about it. You know, he's, he's going to make his aquarium look as comfortable as he likes it. And um, so he's got his rocks built up to the side, just the way he likes it. And, uh, and I'm not going to tell him different. And so that's the way it's going to be. He likes his rocks like that. That's the way it's going to be for him. He's, he, he doesn't like to eat during the day. He likes to eat at night. He'll I put pellets in during the day and, and I'll find him gone in the morning. So he does eat. He just doesn't like to... He just doesn't like to... Uh, eat while everybody else is eating. He thinks he's on a whole other schedule. So... That's that's vanilla for you. All these guys, they all eat at the same time. They all like to do the same thing. You know, this is Paradise Tank. This is the Red Devil Tank. 
And even though I tried making it look a little paradise like you don't got the same kind of light spectrum so you don't get the awesome halogen waves coming into his body uh, and uh, but I did add uh, salt water decoration to make it look a little cooler and he's got a background that kind of gives that salt water appearance he's got his log and he loves it I mean there's a lot to be grateful for in here for him he's got good temperature you know what's to complain about you know anyways I'm gonna cut the video short all right later